Really, beloved, we ought to always place our confidence in God and never place it on our own understanding. Now, that's a difficult thing to do sometimes in our lives. But this is the place and this is the position of that God calls us to. The Word of God says in Hebrew, the 10th chapter and the 35th verse, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which had great recompense of reward. How do we cast away our confidence according to God's word? If we read that again, cast not away therefore your confidence. When you place your confidence in yourself or in man, you are casting it away. Because dearly beloved, it as it as, it is as true as a man who says, "I'm going to place a bet on a broken leg horse that is running in a Kentucky Derby, knowing that it is impossible for that horse to win. It doesn't matter if that horse's name is Secretariat." or any other name in the history of great horses, that horse will lose. But that's why the Word of God tells us to cast not away our confidence, which had great recompense of reward. If we keep our confidence, it will bring a great reward to us. And that reward comes from our Heavenly Father, who first started us on this race, this race which we call fate and hope and love and belief that there is a finish line, that there is a day of reckoning that will stand before him. But as long as we live in this life, <clears throat> we need faith. We need confidence in order to carry on. And so when we take our faith and we our confidence <clears throat> we put it in the Lord. You see, that's why the Word tells us to cast our troubles, cast our cares upon Him, for He cares for us. Amen? <clears throat> so we are called to cast everything that bothers us, everything that we don't understand, we cast it on Him and entrust Him to give us a revelatory understanding that we can continue this walk of faith, this walk of trust and belief in Him alone. Yes, there will be challenges along the way. But if you're casting your confidence in the flesh, this will be a difficult journey for you. But if you cast your cares on the Lord and you put your trust in Him to deliver you out of every situation, you encounter, then and only then will our Lord be able to do what He needs to do in your life. Dearly beloved, the Lord bless you and He keeps you. And acknowledge 
It is not the word that you know, but the word that you understand that gives you the victory.